Hello, hello everyone. How are you doing? Hope you're doing good. So, I played a game yesterday, uh, Saturday evening, and it was pretty fun, and it was a pretty good result, so I want to show it to you. Uh, so therefore we have now a voiceover video, which I don't do too often. So let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video, so I might make more of you if there's some, uh, some positive response there. Anyways, we got ourselves here in a match. Um, the Vampire 2 is kind of sad about the matchmaking, you'll see in a second here. And I don't know how to start a game with a negative, uh, negative look on things. There it goes. So I try to turn it into a positive, try to make it fun. Because, I mean, even people who don't, who get 60% or less win rate do win. Sorry, get 40% win rate or less. 60%. 40% or less. Do win 40% of the time. So you can still win. So don't. Don't look at those stupid mods like this guy's probably doing, where he can see all people's win rates and stuff like that, because that just ruins your uh, fun in the game before the game has started, before anything happens. It already ruins your game, your fun. And if you then share it with the whole team to demoralize your entire team, make it more likely you're going to lose. So don't do that. Just just skip that stuff. Just have fun, have fun try it out, and some, some you win, some you won't. There's no need to look up all those stats and nonsense, because it's mostly useless anyway. And actually, it reinforces your uh, defeatism in, we're gonna lose anyway, so let's not do anything, so we lose harder. That's just stupid. And the guy trying to make it a positive thing here. And, uh, yeah, I like to make it fun too. Edgar <laughs> being a cool bro, trying to make it fun. And uh, Vampire did not go AFK, what he said in chat, luckily. So we'll see what he does. Now, I just spotted on the surface with Hydrophone. And there's nothing on the surface in range. So we got a Kremlin here. We got a Kremlin here. Now I'd like to have a look at who's else here. And the Kremlin's gonna be behind the island, so I can't get him. But Stalingrad with the radar might want to get closer. Because he wants to get his radar on the entire map. And he can nose in here. So I'm going to try to get something on Stalingrad. Maybe it maybe it works. Maybe it works. Just in range, come on. Yeah, there we go. So we spotted somehow through the island, somehow we spotted the 251, the 451. I didn't I don't even know how I would spot him, but apparently the game says you spotted him. Sure, I guess. Uh yeah. Uh, there's DCP and a lot of bombs. Uh Ivami and Stanagor are both wary of me. I need to fix that. That that's my sonar. I need to get that back because I, I just got DCP off of Stalingrad. Ooh, so that flood will be permanent. And if I can reping him, I can get him uh, completely. But he seems to be turning out. Now I do have a Bungo and Baji on my side of the map. And I um, don't think Stalingrad is respecting those too much. And he's still in Stalingrad. So um, inevitably, I expect there it comes. I think it's Bungo. Yeah, it's Bungo. Yeah. You, you don't want to show Brosnan in Stalingrad to a battleship. You just, you just don't. Don't do that. Uh, Ivami is now kind of stuck, because he has no support on that side anymore, there's no radar there. There is the submarine, of course, but he's not coming behind the islands for, so far. And um, Ivami is now stuck. He can't really go out, because we have a lot of teammates behind me. Castilla, Venezia, Fletcher, can all get his broadside. And if he, he goes back, he finds Bungo on his side, so he can't really move from there. He's kind of stuck. He overextended. And he's the perfect target for me, since he's basically forced not to move. Means my torpedoes with the homing will be very easy to hit. He is trying to bomb me though, even before he saw me, before I pinged, he, he, he sent his bombs out. So he is trying and doing the right thing. Fortunately, he's just alone against one, two, three, four, five, maybe six enemies. Well, but you can't get to him. There goes DCP, but he's barely moving. So the torpedoes, they're now non homing torpedoes, but they still go for where they last homed for and therefore will all hit. If, if you don't move from the place they are hoping for, they will still get you. Not that he can move. So he's uh, he's screwed. And there went his DCP. It's now off. There's my counterpart again. 
And that's a permanent flood. I'm trying to stay inside this cap. While still being mo while still moving so I don't get hit by those bombs. Because those can easily get me. I think two two or three bomb hits will kill me. Luckily I'm with Fletcher and he kills some of the planes. And also Bungo's AA is going to work against those planes too. Oh, there's Edgar. And Yoshino. Okay. Kremlin hasn't been spotted in a while. Curious where he is. Now, the center has been capped B by Sommers. And I believe Vampire got the C cap earlier. And I have to say, the eastern side is doing pretty well. They're, they're, they have good positions. They're pushing away the enemies from the, from the cap. And we're getting this Iwami quite hard there. I think this will be the last set of Thorps that need to hit him. And since he's barely moving, I still think we get him with this. There's my counterpart. He's uh, pinging. Oh, there come the bombs. There come the bombs. He's gone. Okay, my teammates kill some planes. Doesn't look like it, but he did launch them a bit too close to himself. So that's good. That's good. We live. Now we're doing something very, very risky, very, very stupid, to be fair. I knew there's someone in the cap, so we knew no, uh, the U451 is up there. And we're trying to get to Edgar. This is a pure greed play, not the wise thing to do. Because if the 451 uses his submarine surveillance, which should be active in about um, one and a half minutes if he's not full built, or in 16 seconds if he is the full build, then I'll be screwed. Cross Kremlin, Yoshino, Edgar will ruin my face. But so far I'm safe. Oh, there's Edgar. There's Edgar. Contemplating my targets. Yeah, I'm going for Edgar since he's not on island. He's using Hydro right now. Edgar Hydro is active. So we got that ping off. He sees the torpedoes coming. At this point, those torpedoes should go right past the U-451. So we should see them. At this point, he should have used submarine surveillance. But uh, he doesn't. So I get to sail away from all this. Basically ruining the Edgar in the process. Also, yeah, lag spikes. Yep, yeah, there is a lag spike there. Sometimes it happens. I don't know why it happens, but it does seem to happen more often now. Now, Edgar is going to try to sail away. And Kremlin is right behind him. If he gets somehow away, he might still hit uh, Kremlin. Also, Edgar got, I think, Bungo again, right? I think it's Bungo. There goes Edgar. And there is four of Yeah, the torpedoes run right past him. He, should, he, should, he, he would have seen them. He must have seen the torpedoes come by. Especially with the hydro ones. So, that he's not using his submarine surveillance is a big mistake. So, I'm just trying to force him down. Get the torpedoes on Kremlin. And spot the four of one Okay, four of one using submarine surveillance. He's finally using it. It's too late now. So, I'm going to the surface since uh, submarine surveillance will spot me. And four of one is actually go underwater to not get spotted by me which means i'm safe here completely safe and i just press this button and he's no longer safe yeah on the surface you have far more chance to stay alive than underwater if you're in submarine surveillance range if you can get uh, on this is where you're unspotted and there goes 451 now the final member here of the enemy team kremlin oh, well he's still fighting against most of us we, we barely lost anyone we barely lost anyone. Kremlin DCP. Kremlin DCP is limited amount of DCPs, fast reload, but also short duration. So I should be able to reping him soon. There it is. And I'm trying to save the cap once again, trying to cap it. At one point in this match, we will get this cap. It will be ours. Wait, bombs. Okay, I need to move. I hopefully didn't aim properly. Because I have no speed. Of three seconds to cap. He didn't aim far enough. And that should be his end. We can go. I doubt he'll survive this. Because we still have Castilla and the rest of our team. And he's flooding. We might just get him on flooding alone. Oh, remember, his DCP is down, so... 
Yep, there we go. Kill number three. Now I have a little bit of sailing to do. I want to go towards the B cap. Uh, Edgar, Vampire, Vincent, Iowa, and Des Moines are doing pretty well over there. Get the entire team pushed away. And yes, I'm proud of his number. It's, it's a lot of damage for me. 223k is a lot of damage to me. <laughs> now, I, I want to increase my speed a bit. I just got maximum oxygen, so uh, I'll just go faster to get to that B cap earlier. On the serves, I'm pretty slow. So I want to make sure I'm keeping uh, ahead of my teammates so I don't get... Uh, Obsolete of being too far behind. Now, the minimap is our biggest tool on the water, so I pay a lot of attention to the minimap. I rarely look at the main screen nowadays. I mostly look at the minimap. <laughs> so, the more is trying to surround our teammates. Missouri is trying to lure them out towards the A, a side, while Cecilia gets their broadsides. I think Cecilia is about to get Vincent here hard, or Iowa, because, yeah, it's, it was Vincent. See, they have some mean guns. I got a little bit cocky in chat. <laughs> I mean, this point, yes, I got a bit cocky. Yes. Make sure the vampire get left a bit. Mm -hmm. Now, I think it's up, up uh, east are being surrounded now. Missouri did push up, did get the uh, Iowa, and the morning is now alone, surrounded by. Um, or enemies, I think it's almost is right on top of him. And I think still alive. Which is... No, it's lost no position. That's lost the position. I don't know where Somers is. So, I got a, a phone call in the meantime. So, my apologies for the, the quick cut there. I had to uh, re-record it. I'm up to... Seven or eight times. Yes. <laughs> I need to practice this more. <laughs> oh. If you like more of this content where I voice over uh, a replay, let me know in the comments, please. I'd, uh, I'd love to know if you want more of this stuff, then I will make some more if there's some uh, positive comments there. Anyways, we're about to make a mistake here. We just lost a Des Moines in the east. And our team is all in this cap. We all want to get points, that's normal. And I'm trying to convince my teammates to go and, well, get a bit more map control. Because we're kind of bunched up. They got two radar ships, two smoke ships, and we have uh, no radars of our own. So, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll try to convince them to actually move somewhere, but they don't really do it. I'll block them for seat, tell them what I'm going to do. Need someone up north to cut them off. Um, I was hoping Fletcher or maybe Francis would do that, but they don't seem to sit. So I can only do one more option. You can only warn your teammates so, so many times, and then you just have to stop it. Also, don't be annoyed when they don't follow your advice. Uh, that You cannot force them. Don't try to. They will, Especially if you try to, it will fail, so... Be nice, just give them what you can do. Uh, don't talk a caught in one radar. That's all I can give the last warning. And beyond that, we go and we see if we survive. <laughs> because we could lose very easily here. So there's um, a ping from Fletcher. Someone is there, he says. At least he shares his, uh, his knowledge with us there. Oh no, it's uh, sorry, Vampire pinging his RPF. And there's Des Moines. And he's go, because that's one of the radars. And I, of course, instantly miss, <laughs> because I'm that good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My ping work is not really good. It never really is. But I ping a lot. And so far, he hasn't been bombing me, so that's good. So Cecilia and Somers have been spotted. We don't know where Flesh and Missouri are. I do assume they're pretty close. Now, first Des Moines. He has his radar active. We just went off. Uh, we did lose Vampire for that. But I think we're going to get this Des Moines in a second here. His DCP is active, but my torpedoes are so close. Yep, he's gone. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. Well done, Commander. Now, let's see. There goes Somers. Very nice. Left our Fletcher, Missouri, and Cecilia. I'm picking the Fletcher to annoy him. Uh, maybe he just disappeared at the wrong time. And maybe he got his torpedoes in the water. Just in case he doesn't get killed here. They will still try to chase him down. And he's in range. There goes Castilla. And there goes Fletcher. So that's good. So left are Cecilia and Missouri here. Missouri can still radar me. So I should go down here. I went up for a little bit of oxygen. Because I was really low. But uh, I need to go down here. 
Yeah, there it is. There's the radar. First set is past him. It's not that hard to see. They're past him before him. Cecilia went down to Venezia, so the final target, Missouri, run four kills. Can we get a fifth? Can we get a fifth here? That would be awesome. Oh, and there we go. Kraken. Kraken unleashed. There we go. Anyways, yeah. The Morphal Story. Don't give up at the start of the game when you see a matchmaking and you look at your stupid mods, which you shouldn't have, that show the, the stats of people. Don't use that. It just demoralizes you and the team, and you can have results like, well, this. We have 1.8 million credits. I'm rich. 56,000 XP. Oh, yes. Uh, we got a Soul Kraken. We got High Caliber. Uh, we got two caps here. Pretty good. And uh, two and a four or three thousand damage. Yeah, not too shabby. For base XP, <laughs> 3,399. Yeah, that, that's a lot. But don't get that often. That That's a lot. That's an awful lot. So, um, yeah, there we go. What? Um, how much did the floodings do? 43k is floodings only. We got six of them. Pretty dang good. Anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this kind of format where I do some voiceovers instead of just uh, the stream replays. Um, it was a lot of work. <laughs> I had to re-record this eight or nine times, I think, by now. So, yeah, <laughs> please, if you enjoyed it, <laughs> drop a like. <laughs> Have mercy on my soul, drop a like. Um, and let me know if you like this kind of content where I do a voiceover instead of a stream replay. I would like to know what your opinions are, what you prefer. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the day and make sure never surrender. Never give up until you're dead. And even then, hmm, don't do it. <laughs> Surrendering is what losers do and we will not lose. Anyways, see you later guys. Cheers.